This is the story of Hasim. Hasim was in a cavalry unit for the great house Drekos in Hammerfell. He waged war against the Thalmor, winning many battles in Sentinel until the mighty Red Guards eventually overthrew their elven overlords and gained sovereignty once again. After returning from the war, Hasim was offered the dark gift by an ancient vampire. The lure of power and immortality was too strong to deny, so he accepted. The vampire had use for his skill. The vampire and Hasim traveled to Anvil. Hasim became a master horse breeder, where the order, a secret of vampire group, used his horses to give to kings and nobles to make connections for their vampiric clan. Hasim would move through the town and feed and kill on whoever he wanted, eventually revealing his true nature. A group of vampire hunters led by the bloodhound burned Hasim's manor and killed all his horses. He was abandoned by the vampiric order and left only with his armor and weapons from the war. He now has to grow and evolve as a vampire to survive. This is Hasim, and this is his journey. How is everybody doing today? I'm Icarus, and we are here with Hasim, our new Let's Play. So, where are we? Who are we? Well, I already told you who we are, but we are in Skyrim. And, uh, looks like we're somewhere in the rift, in a seclu secluded cave with a death priest so how did we get here why are we with the death priest well um hasim spent all his money smuggling himself out of anvil and this is where he arrived so this is where we are let me talk about how this vampire is going to be played so I have many mods that enhance vampiric abilities, and one thing I can't stand when I play a game is power creep. That is when a character grows too quickly due to mods or any other thing, and uh, they're more powerful than the content. Now, I run many mods that make the game difficult. Um, Revenge of the Enemies, I play on Legendary. Let's double check. I might not. Yep, all right, it's on Legendary. Uh, immersive Creatures, uh, Deadly Dragons. I'm sure there's more. I run some uh, other monster mods. But I want to explain to you how we are going to grow in power. Now, I've created a system, and it uh, is a custom perk tree that is not actually in the game, but it is just a Excel sheet that I have written out with certain enhancing powers that Hasim is going to gain as we level up. Now, how is he going to get these uh, skills ranked up? Well, it's through a system called blood points. How does he get blood points? Glad you asked. Let's look, next bitten. So I've already gotten three, okay? What was a, how did I get those other three? I was doing some stuff earlier, trying to get things set up. Um, every time he gets 10 blood points, 10, 10 next bit, and he gets one blood point. What can he spend those on? Let me show you. We are a vampire fledgling. We're a baby, okay? I'll explain why we're that. But I have shut off everything, okay? We rank up incredibly slowly. Uh, our blood metabolism increases very quickly. It means that we're burning for blood, through blood points um, which means we have to keep eating. Um, we're always hated. So how do we alleviate that? How do we go into towns if we're always hated? Uh, we need something called Mortal's Mask. We cannot get that till we rank up in vampire ranks. Look at, there are one, two, three, four, five, six vampire ranks. Now we need blood points to even upgrade our vampire rank. I think it's fair to say for every rank up in vampire uh, rank, we need so two points for the vampire, one, one or two, th you know, three for blood vampire, uh, five, you know, so the list goes on. It's something I have to figure out as we go forward, but we'll also need blood points. So I have two here right now. I'm not going to spend those. 
because I can't access those until I get uh, 10 next bit and then I'll get one one point but I can bank those to become a vampire so uh, there's other things uh, so there's three s main skills and uh, the first one is h how we eat so uh, there are certain things that I can turn on which is corpse feeding right so I can gain uh, blood from from a corpse right now uh, I don't know how to do that I can create uh, cattle which is a uh, Basically, by enthralling an NPC, they are a permanent resource who will freely allow me to eat from them. I think. Yeah, I think they also fight for me. Is that what that is? Let's see. Let me just read the description. You will be un uh, unable to enthrall victims and turn them into... Okay, wait. That This is something totally different. Cattle? Is, can you turn someone to cattle? Let's just go down the list, though. Uh, I can't force feed. Why? I feel like that's a technique, that's an ability that Hossein will have to learn. So I can use blood points to increase that. Uh, force feed is uh, you will be unable to force feed. So uh, victims that are bleeding out, he can eat them. Combat feeding, uh, extracting blood, can't do that either. Basically I can gain blood potions. Uh, I Here's another thing, is becoming more resilient to the sun. I have hardcore damage on uh, no regain in shadows. So there's all these little abilities that I won't be able to access until I start feeding on people. Now I also have another perk uh, tree and there's a vampire uh, perk tree and I can access all these perks, the ones that I want to, but I'll have to use blood points. Also, there's very powerful uh, perks that I won't allow myself to access till I'm a higher level vampire. So, that all being explained, uh, what is the game right now? The game is to survive, because basically all we have is our weapons. Uh, we are, it's been three hours since we've eaten, so um, yeah, we're in, we're in bad shape. Uh, but. Yeah, everything is, is uh, brutal out there. Uh, if we go into a town, we will be on attacked for the most part on site. There are some NPCs that don't react to us, but guards will kill us on site. Why? Because they see who we really are. If I had mortal's mask, it would actually, I think, change my eyes and make me look like a regular mortal. So, what are our weapons loadouts? Well, we have our her hood turban I think and then uh, let's see we have our sword and shield right we're gonna want a horse uh, that is what uh, Hasim Dragos prefers he, he loves being on horseback and then my favorite part about this not my favorite part we won't use these a lot but let's see shoot the apple off his head no it's not we have a musket. Now, we're not going to use it a lot, but uh, it's just kind of a flavor thing that I, I like with this character. All right, we'll take that. So, uh, we'll use, be using one-handed, shield, archery, sneak. We'll use sneak a lot with this character. But uh, my primary thing that I'm going to want to do with this character is to play, to role play best of my ability. A vampire so we are a man of religion who do we pray to if you saw the cinematic you saw a picture of Malik Ball we worship Malik Ball why would anyone do that in their right mind well he would why he's taken he willingly took on the dark gift of vampirism why oh I turned off the night eye I was trying to turn it on because uh, he wants to stave off death. He wants to live as long as he want, can. Uh, he is power hungry. Uh, and he wants to try to uh, be uh, uh, on top of the totem pole and, and rule with an iron fist. Um, his reasons are his own. But uh, he has gotten, in his own mind, the faction that he was a part of was the... Um, 
vampiric order if you guys don't know what the I, vamp the order is i think that this, this is canon the order is uh the most powerful cyrodelic vampire order in all of uh nern and the thing that allows them to be as powerful as they are is they uh hide in secret uh there are many who are senators there are many who are have infiltrated uh, kingdoms and uh, they can go um, throughout cities and remain in a with within the uh, civil uh, society and nobody would know so how does Hasim feel about them he feels abandoned uh, he was caught and hunted by a vampire hunter named the uh, bloodhound who has a real nose for finding vampires Hasim was not very careful and so he broke the masquerade and uh, had to flee and so that is why he was in uh, Skyrim so he's angry he feels alone um, does he feel scared if he does he's not in touch with it he is a survivor first and foremost and that's what we're going to be doing so let us start this first Skyrim roleplay so what do we need? We do need blood. Uh, this priest, my head cannon, is as he got smuggled in. These guys are a group of necromancers. This death priest is one of them, and uh, they were able to move Hasim with them. So Hasim is in this dingy, disgusting cave. Probably reeks of bones and whatever foul things they do. He doesn't have a place to sleep. He's tired. If you look on the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little crescent moon. Uh, that means our buddy is, is tired. But we had to wait an hour. We couldn't sleep because we don't have a bed. But we're going to go outside. Now, Hasim is faster and stronger than a, a uh, normal person. And uh, because he is a vampire, I will show you some of his stats. This mod I am running is called Better Vampires. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. But I have greater strength right now. Why? Because he is fed. And so this will give me, I'll let you guys read all that stuff, but some health uh, increases, stuff like that. Um, health and stamina are increased by 4 to 20. Healing and stamina regeneration increase. So, yeah, he's stronger. And then we have our... He's a vampire fledgling. So being a lowest rank vampire, vampire fledglings, your weapon attack speed is only increased by 2% and destruction spells are 4%. So what spells do we have? We have vampire drain. Uh, that's about it. So... Let's go into the world. I think there's someone up there. Now, one thing I really do like about being a vampire, uh, apart from the ability to jump higher and move quicker, is uh, I can see at night. I love that. Now, this these guys helped me, right? And uh, Hasim appreciates that. But... Hasim is loyal to himself. Let's keep eating. Let's get those blood points. Wow, there's a lot of blood in this dude. Right on. So I just want to point out the type of character this man is. That, uh... I wouldn't say that these people helped him. Um... I'm not even sure how they personally felt about him, but uh, he's a stone cold killer. He took that man's life, uh, and he feels nothing. So, he he is a true predator. All right. So here's where we want to head to. Want to head in the direction of Windhelm? Why? Well. That's where civilization is. Can we do much when we get there? No, not necessarily. But. But. Get so distracted. 
Um, you know, maybe we'll grow a little bit as we're moving there. Shoot. That was not good. Let's take these wolves off, though. I don't want to deal with them. They're heading up here. Alright, Hossein, get ready. Alright, little fox. Keep distracting them. Man, I am not a good shot. Got him. Alright, let's get out of here. They're moving. So, here's another awesome thing. Low fall damage. So, there is a lot of downsides to being a vampire, especially when you start. But, there's a, there is a... Uh, a lot of upsides too. We no longer have to eat food, so there's uh, supposed to be a little apple sign. Normally, oh, there's a person over there. Normally, uh, that you'll see a little apple sign, but it is gone. Why? Because vampires don't eat food. They drink and they need to sleep, but let's see if we can. Oh, jeez. Whatever this thing saved that lady. Alright, let's uh let's eat a little bit. So, I can I can eat from animals. But only through my vampiric drain. Do we wanna start Hunterborn? No we don't. Not off of one of those things at least. Really? Let's pull our shield out. Wow, this is that same wolf. Okay, I don't want to die from a wolf. Just more so because of the uh, humiliation. Come on, don't die. Excellent. Okay. Now... I just want you guys to be aware that it is pitch dark right now. Uh, just to give, I guess, for you guys at all. See that? And now we can hear the pumping heart of the mortals that are nearby. So I just want to give you guys some perspective of how Hasim sees things. Where is that little area that we were at earlier? Did we move that far from it? And you really can get turned around. Okay, I hear another wolf. Stay hidden though. I just want to know where that... Let's see. Alright, let's turn back. Get lost. So the music turned off. I was recording some stuff, but let's... Let's put it back on. It's, it's almost a little off-putting, not having it on. Oh my gosh. We are about to die. We died. <laughs> well, I have a deal in effect that if I die, I owe 500 gold. Well, that still stands. So I owe 500 gold. I cannot pay it, but uh, that gold that I would prefer to go towards new armor, enchantments, uh, will be going to uh, me doxing myself for for dying. I don't ever want to get comfortable with uh, just dying constantly in this game. Please no. All right, let's uh, let's eat. Ah, delicious wolf. 
what I'm trying to look for was that that area where that uh that lady was at and then I got all turned around so now I have no idea where I am we're going to be f having this feeling of uh I mean for me I just feel uncomfortable I feel scared uh, as a player you know I don't want to die and I want to find a place just to sleep and level up. I want to try to gain as many blood points as I can. Uh, oh, I hear one of those sky shards. Okay, here, here it is. So when I get close to uh, humanoid life forms. Oh, are you kidding me? This place is full of wolves. This place is full of dead wolves. So there's a sky shard over there. That's that noise that you're hearing. Yeah, do you guys hear that heart beating? Hmm. The hunt. Let's see if we can sneak up on this necromancer. That's what's for dinner. If we can catch him. So our sneak is rated a little bit higher. Just... Oh! Okay, well, that was probably dumb. I did not need to jump like that, but like I said... I'm a new vampire. Really don't want to owe a thousand gold. Oh, we are wounded. No, I don't. I don't. Please don't. We don't have any blood points. Maybe we can hide. I don't know. This is this is no fun. Oh, jeez. She is gunning for us. So the only thing that I can think to do is hide, and then we're going to take her out. I would love to feed on her, but we're just too low level. So this skill, too, I need to do something. Sky shards, let's disable that beacon. So I am going to try to hunt her again, if I can find her. Um, we're just too desperate. Too desperate for blood points and it is a risk it could cost us another 500 gold but to me it's worth it and the night is still young so I don't know where she is though but we'll see her before she sees us theoretically because I have my blood vision on which is taking blood points away. But it's worth it to me. It's all about staying ahead of your opponent. I think I see her. No? She's supposed to be over there. You guys ignore that text. Is she? Maybe she got killed by some. I don't know. I don't know. 
All right, let's turn this off. Just turn our regular vision on. I think the regular vision isn't uh, constantly taking away from. Ugh. Ooh, what is that? Some green over there. I can't tell. There's some spreegans over there, but it's like a mushroom. <gasps> I heard someone. Who? I don't know. Oh wow. Our blood points are getting low. Ooh, someone's getting hurt. From what direction? I, I don't know. So a, a vampire, especially with these mods, can be unstoppable, even with legendary difficulty. But uh, when he's young, uh, it's a scrap. Most don't survive that far. So that's where we're at. So I, there might be questions. Why is Hasim a vampire uh, fledgling if he's been a vampire for a little bit? Well, in my mind, he's only been a vampire for close to a year oh oh jeez a thousand gold a thousand gold oh, that's all right we eat it i accept it i'm just gonna have to be more careful So where was I? Hasim isn't a. Uh, why is he? Let me. I want to say this really quick. I know that this seems brutally hard, but when we start growing in power, it will feel so. It'll it'll feel earned. So and I, that's what I want is to earn it. But. Uh, so why is Hasim a vampire fledgling if he's been a vampire for a while? Uh, the headcanon I have is that he was a horse breeder for the uh, order, and in his in in raising uh, these majestic steeds, um, they would sell them to nobles and kings, and. Um, that's how they made connections and they were able to create vampire familiars and all that stuff. Well, Hasim never relied on his vampiric gift. He just, uh, he had wealth and uh, people working for him and he did what he wanted when he wanted. Okay. I'm not sure where we are, but there's people here. All right, so his he's pretty stagnant when it comes to his power level. So, all right, I I uh, will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, I am Icarus, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this gameplay.